I ordered another scrap box and in all honesty I hoped it was going to be rubbish so that I could give a, a sort of fair vision of what you could get in the rubbish department of these scrap boxes. So I'll start with the smallest pieces. Um, I just envisage them cutting at the tables and lobbing everything to a box. So I got this and this and this and this and this. This is a little bit of cotton lycra. So, I mean, they are, they're quite funny, but pretty pointless. This is the bundle of bandages I got. Um, you know, anything from half an inch to a, a couple of inches wide. Every conceivable type of fabric. For me, the only use they have is to actually see what that fabric looks like. And that's fine. You get an idea of colours and textures and stretchiness and everything. Um, I did cut my finger with my rotary blade the other day and I grabbed a bit of selvage and wrapped around it to stop the bleeding. So, you know, they are actually bandages, if you want bandages. They've all gone straight in my scrap box. Um, next, I got some... Most of the pieces were with the fabric, except these uh, two little pieces of calico, which... They could be useful for somebody, but not for me. These three are Georgette. One, two, three. Uh, actually, there's four of them. I lie. There's four pieces of Georgette. They're not with the fabric. And when I got them, they were stuck together to form a tube. They've been cut at one end with pinking shears. So I'm guessing they were using them to model something. It's twice that width and quite long and for somebody much slimmer than I am you would easily get a little top out of them. They're all the same sort of size and so they are very useful for somebody smaller. So I wouldn't complain about those, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're just not useful for me. And these are the small pieces that you could do something with, all with the fabric and then, you know, just a few inches. I'm going to hang on to these two. I might make something with them. I'm not sure, just because of what the, the actual fabric is. Um, I don't really know that. Uh, no, I'm not going to keep them. I, I don't want to be from doing things with cannabis plants. So, and that's a little bit of um, it's stretchy, but it's quite thick. I'm not sure if it's cotton lycra or not. So I'll pop that in there. So that's all the small pieces. I also got an extremely useful piece of stuffing, which I will definitely keep, you know, toy stuffing. These are sort of 10 to 20 centimetre pieces. There's a piece of wool. I don't know what this is. It, it's fluffy and fleecy, but it's got bob bobbles on it. I think it's lovely, uh, but I don't know what I would do with it. I'm going to put that in a slightly separate bundle, which you'll see why. This is some sort of rib knit. Um, cotton um, camo, which I keep because I use cotton. This is um, a polyester. It's brown. Again, not something I would use. Another piece of calico. A piece of small piece of fleece that I probably wouldn't have used for. I think this is the Panama canvas. Nice to see what it's like. I will hang on to it because I will probably use that for something. Um, another piece of what I think is wool, but 
it feels really weird. There's a little bit of give lengthways and a little bit of give across the fabric, but um, you know what? You could make a teddy bear or something like that. It's not something I do, but you could do that. This is a piece of the stretch. I think it was called stretch suede. So it, it, it stretches across the fabric, but not top to bottom. Again, you could probably make a teddy bear or something with that, but I, that's not what I do. So those are going in the box. Um, now we have the 30 to 40 centimetre. Very useful piece of fleece. I absolutely really like this. I don't think I've seen it on the website, but probably because I don't really look at fleece, but I'll always keep pieces of fleece because they're useful. This is one I'm thrilled with, which is a piece of toweling. A, it gives me an idea of what their toweling is like. And B, I wanted to have a go at making turtle mops. And I was going to actually buy a piece of toweling. But I don't have to bother because this is quite big. It is width of fabric. And that's the length of it. So that's in my keeping pile. I already bought some of this and it's great. It's cotton and I will definitely use that. I could keep this, but I'm not going to because, to be honest, I've got plenty of cotton lycra and I rarely make clothes at the moment. So I'm passing on to somebody who will use it. This is a little piece of swim fabric. And you know what? You could make... A little swimming costume. There is enough there to make a swimming costume for a small child, but I'm not going to do that. But I might give it to my friend who's got a new baby granddaughter and she might make her swimming costume. I'll take it into work today and see if she wants it. This is the white fabric that I got last time. It's sort of embossed. I'm guessing it's a, some sort of upholstery fabric and a huge piece of that which I am denied about keeping, but I'm not going to use it, so it will go. Um, I've actually got a lady coming during the holidays who's going to look through all the pieces I don't want and hopefully take them. This is a piece of um, stretch fabric. It's very, very thin. I wouldn't buy that because it's too thin, but I know people like sort of thin stretch fabric. So don't be put off by me saying that, but it's just, it doesn't feel like the sort of quality I would use. So there's another piece of this white fluffy stuff, which is why I kept the first piece. And I won't get rid of it yet. I'll think if I've got a project for it, but I may well pass it on. Um, piece of plain navy cotton, which is always useful, and that's going in my pile. This is, again, I think it's Georgette. It's, it would make a scarf and it would make a very nice scarf. I don't wear scarves, so I'm going to let that one go. I don't know what this is. I did the burn test on it and it, it I think it was some sort of polyester. I don't think it was cotton. Um, but... Again, it, I mean, it's quite nice. If it was definitely cotton, I'd keep it, but I really don't think it was. I'd have to check the website, and I can't be bothered, to be honest. So that's in the going piece. Another piece of making a teddy or something. This is like imitation lamb's wool. Which again, for the right person, great, but not for me. And then we come to the big pieces, and they are big. They're big and some of them are very useful. This is a rib knit. These are all width of fabric and they're 30 to 40 centimetres. Again, it's not big enough to make something for me because I'm too broad, but for somebody slim, you could definitely make something out of that and it's rather nice. Another piece of fleece, which again I probably I wouldn't have bought, but I'm going to put that in my fleece pile. 
I'm, I'd get a, um, a fleecy cushion out of that, possibly even two. So I, yeah, I keep that and I'll, I'll either get the grandchildren to make something with it or I will. There's a, a piece of this um, ribbed fabric. Now, I would have thought the stripes went that way, but this is the width of fabric this way. So it's got horizontal stripes. And again, it's big enough to make maybe a sleeveless cardi or something. I don't know, but I'm not going to do that. There's another piece of this very thin, um, stretchy fabric. I mean, it, it, it really is thin. You can see through it. I can see the houses across the road through that. A piece of satin, and again, big enough to make, if you wanted satin knickers or a little satin cami and you were smaller than I am, that would be fabulous. I think they called this coating fabric. Um, it's sort of fluffy on the back. There's no stretch to it. Could I make a bag out of it? Yes, I could. Would I? Probably not, because I don't really like it that much. But I'm going to hang on to it and have a think about it before I let it go. Um, I can't remember what fabric this is called, but I've seen it on the website with these ships on. Very nice quality. It, you know, it could line a bag. But it's shiny and it's slippery, and I haven't sewn anything with shiny and slippery stuff because I just don't. But I'm actually going to hang on to it and contemplate making a bag with that and the last piece that I just had. This is um, Crocodile Cotton Lycra. It's designed by Pobby, so it's a good um, brand. There's plenty in there to make shorts for a little boy. Am I going to make shorts for little boys? Probably not. But because this is going to a community place where um, local sewers who can't really afford to pay full price for fabric are able to buy fabric at a greatly reduced cost and all sewing supplies, it's silly for me to keep it. Somebody there will definitely use it. This is a piece of black velvet. I never sew at velvet, I don't like it. So that's going to go into the community bundle as well. And it would make a little dress for a little girl or possibly a, a top for a, a, an adult. But, but it, it's very nice. And these pieces are huge, absolutely huge for a scrap box like this. You know, that is a, a big piece of fabric. My only issue is I haven't got a clue what it is. It's got give from top to bottom. And it's stretchy across. Uh, but it, it's sort of fluffy this side. So maybe velveteen or something like that. I just don't know what it is. But it's lovely. And somebody will love that. And this is the piece I like the best. This piece of tapestry. I haven't bought any tapestry fabric, didn't really know much about it, but I absolutely love it. That's going to make a bag that I'll sell for 30 to 40 pounds. So, yes, there is very little in this box that I'm keeping for myself, which is basically these pieces. I've got the little piece of swim fabric that I'm giving to my friend. I had the joy of donating all those other lovely pieces to my community. Was that worth seven pounds? Let's, I won't count that because my friend's having it. Absolutely, that was definitely worth seven pounds. And yes, I know there's postage, but I got some other fabric at the same time. So the postage maybe add on two quid for this. So yeah, definitely worth it. Sorry, 
I really, really wanted this one to be rubbish. I'm sorry it wasn't.